This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a redo of a combo that I did yesterday, just because there's one small change that has to be made, but it has a huge actual change in terms of the implications and results that you get out of it, and that is the Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice combo that I put posted a video on yesterday, I actually missed a very small detail in my combo structuring. This is because I am one sick and two, I was very tired when I was making that video. I was spending the entire day exploring Dragoonity combos, trying to come up with an infinite firewall loop in TCG legal Dragoonities, and I'm really, really close to that, by the way. Uh, there's just one little, like, play detail string that I'm having trouble with. Uh, that I'm trying to optimize to make it work, but I've gotten to the point where I can make Firewall Dragon like seven times, but then the combo uh, like uh, peters out. But I spent the entire day doing that, uh, and then I realized, oh shit, I need to make my video for tomorrow. <laughs> and I, uh, I ran through the combo in my head and then ran through the combo on, uh, on preparation for the video, and I was like, okay, cool, this is the one that I want to do, just Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice, show the basics. Um, and I missed a small detail of how that combo changes with Trigate Wizard, and that is, you use World Chalice Guard Dragon's effect earlier than what I did in the previous video, and what it yields you is it yields you a draw 2 often in Gear Suit instead of a draw 1 that I showed you in the previous video. So, you may be thinking, oh, you are only drawing one additional card, you didn't need to remake the video, blah, blah, blah. No, no, you don't understand. When you're playing this deck, every single extra card you get matters. Especially if it's a card that takes you from a plus 3 to a plus 4. If it's just you're taking one card out of your hand in the form of a monster and then you're turning that into a draw, that's still kind of important. But no, this is just an extra draw out of nowhere that you don't have to invest any additional resource into. It just happens. And so you definitely want to know about it, whether you're playing a fully loaded World Chalice deck or whether you're playing a budget Trigate Wizard Turbo version of the deck. You definitely want to get as many cards as possible out of your Ningirsu plays as you possibly can. And especially considering this is a two-card combo of only Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice, the fact that this can draw two cards and make Trigate Wizard consistently and then be expandable into whatever resources you have from there is actually super huge. It's actually super like quality-based. Um, in terms of like what kind of combo you're doing, because it's one of the only two, it's only one of the only two two card combos that can even do something like this. I'm like literally freaking out here. Uh, but anyway, I'm redoing this video and I'm putting it up because I value correct information. I'd I'd rather look like an idiot myself for missing something and draw attention to it, as long as the correct information and the best information gets put forward by myself or someone at the end of the day. And so I'm redoing this video because a, a visual representation of the combo and how it changes and what's going on and a full explanation of it is a lot easier to understand in my eyes than me just typing in the previous video's comment section of, oh, you can do this, especially since how complicated it gets with what zone you're using to do this stuff in. I figured I would just redo the combo, take some time. If you guys want to invest your time into watching it, then definitely go for it. Uh, but otherwise, this is just me correcting my goof. But anyway, let me rewind this and I will be right back. Alright, so just like the last video, this is a completely self-contained two-card combo involving the Agent of Creation Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice and no additional cards. But this time it is going to end with an Ingersu Draw 2 instead of a Draw 1, and it's going to end with a Trigate Wizard that is co-linked with three separate monsters. You're going to get six cards out of this two-card combo, being a plus four, and you're going to end with nine overall cards, five of which being in hand, four being on your field. So, you have these two cards, and then you have the three other cards that are in your hand not really doing anything, but they do still exist. So, you're going to start this combo out by Normal Summoning Venus, as we did last time. Pretty much everything in this combo sequence is identical to the last video, except for a very specific point, which I will cover in detail when we get there. But So you pay 1500 to summon your three Shine Balls, you link away with one Shine Ball into your Imduk the World Chalice Dragon, which then allows you to tribute another Shine Ball to gain an additional Normal Summon for World Legacy World Chalice. And then from here you're going to link away with these two into your Aurum the World Chalice Blade Master. Then your World Legacy World Chalice's Graveyard Effect will activate, and you're going to summon the same two monsters from your deck that we did last time. Lee the World Chalice Fairy, plus World Chalice Guard Dragon. And you're specifically going to put Lee over here yet again. Um, it is kind of important that you always make sure that you keep this zone at least occupied at some point with a World Chalice monster. And this is just the easiest way to do so, because you're not really going to be using Lee at any point during the Ningirsu play. 
But so your Lee, uh, your Lee is going to get you a search here, and it's going to search you specifically for a World Chalice Vanilla. This play only works if you're playing a World Chalice Vanilla in your deck. And so last time I searched Chosen, and this time I'm searching Chosen, I actually just happened to get it right accidentally last time. <laughs> so, whoops. <laughs> I was doing everything right except for the one detail that I missed, which is something that I'm used to doing anyway, which is weird. I have no idea why I missed it. The only thing I can blame is, like, fatigue and sickness, because that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. But anyway, <laughs> not one to make excuses. Let's carry on. I'm going to link away here with uh, Guard Dragon and Venus into your Eeb, the World Chalice Priestess. And then you're going to link away with this last Shine Ball that you have into an Imduk. Now, from here... Here's where we're going to change how this goes, and that's what's going to be what generates us our second draw. Is that in the previous combo I showed you, I saved Guard Dragon for really late in the combo, and that's usually what I do for almost every other combo, and that's why it was very easy for me to miss this detail. Uh, because in normal circumstances, when I'm normally playing this deck, I usually do get a draw too often in Gearsu every time I do Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice, but those were in uh, like online gameplay and stuff like that, and I was trying to recreate it when I was outlining it for the video yesterday, and I couldn't get to it because I was not using Guard Dragon early like I used to in that combo sequence, and it was really like irritating me to the point where I just missed the piece of the combo that I was trying to perform, and I was like, man, I guess I just had extra cards in my hand that made it possible during those games, and I just dismissed it, and I was like, I guess I just draw one card. I, I guess that's all we ever were doing. But anyway, you're going to use Guard Dragon here because if you use Guard Dragon here and you maintain the monster on the field, it's still a resource for you to use later that allows you to go into Trigate Wizard. So as long as you're not getting rid of the monster that you summon off uh, Guard Dragon, it is still an additional monster resource. So that's what you need to, you know, that's what you and I both need to, uh, need to uh, register and worry about. But so... You'll banish Guard Dragon, and you'll special summon one of your Shine Balls back to uh, back to his zone next to Eeb. And then you're going to link away with it into another Imduk. And you're going to link them to either side of the Eeb. This is what's going to allow us to get our uh, second draw off Ningirsu. is because we made another Imduk, so we made another World Chalice monster. Even though we didn't have a World Chalice Vanilla in Grave, we were able to generate another World Chalice Vanilla. Um, and then... Uh, and what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to use that to draw another card off uh, Ningirsu in addition to what the one that we were already going to be drawing. Uh, but so then you're going to link away with Eeb and the Imduk, but not that Imduk though. See, this is the problem that I have is that I keep just like grabbing cards and sometimes it just ends up not being the correct way. You want to leave this Imduk here. You do not want to get rid of the Imduk that is under the Orm. You want to get rid of the Imduk that is to the left and you want to link these two away. Uh, see, that's that's another reason why I just couldn't identify the combo late last night when I was trying to make the video. Um, but so you'll uh, you'll summon your Ningirsu, and your Ningirsu will be chain link one, and your Eeb or your Emduk will be chain link two, summoning chosen from your hand, and then you'll draw your two cards off of the Ningirsu. So that's good. So you've gotten your Ningirsu draw two, and now we're basically at the ending stages of the combo, like we were before. What you're going to do is you're going to use Orum to tribute Lee to bring back the Eve that you just linked away with in the zone that Lee was in. And the reason we had Imduk right here and we got, uh, we got rid of the left Imduk and left this one here and put Chosen over here is because you want this vanilla over here to make Link Spider, but you need to vacate the zone first. So you link away with Imduk and Orum into your Trigate Wizard here, and suddenly everything is all nice, clear, and hunky-dory to get your Chosen linked away into a Link Spider pointing down at Trigate Wizard, and now suddenly that is the end of the combo sequence so you end up with five cards in hand four on board nine cards total as i said previously you end up with trigate wizard that is co-linked with three cards and uh and basically that's just very good it's very good for you because at any point if you had another monster to expand upon this that you drew off your ningirsu or whatever if you drew another world chalice monster if you drew another monster in general uh, that you could use with lee um, you could just start uh, you could start doing things because your Orm and Imduk can tr uh, special summon cards out of hand when linking away with. So you can make your Firewall Dragons, you can do all sorts of stuff. There's there's a lot of different capabilities that you have going forward from here. If you are playing a more budgeted build where you're just playing Trigate Turbo instead of Firewall Turbo, uh, then you could easily just you know meld your board a little bit further from this point but keep it sort of simple. Uh, but if you're playing a full-on World Chalice deck fully equipped with Firewalls and Kaijus and all that sort of stuff, then you can easily carry on this combo further based off what other these, whatever these other cards are in your hand. 
uh, but it is very good for resources. Like I said, it's a plus four. That's pretty respectable, especially for a two card combo. And anytime you're drawing more than one card off an Ingirsu, that's usually really good for you resource wise. So that's something you just need to respect. Drawing three is obviously better in almost every case in terms of just, you know, cycling through resources. But sometimes there's a hard limit cap of your turn structure of what you can draw and gain pluses off of with Ningirsu, rather than just, you know, being, you know, I'm just cycling cards out to draw cards, but you're ending with the same number of cards. Uh, so there's things you need to identify. So there's sometimes you need to cut down on how many cards you're drawing on Ningirsu to make the Trigate Wizard play happen and stuff like that. And then sometimes you're like me and you miss something incredibly simple because, like I said, I normally like to reserve my Guard Dragon until, like, later in the play because, you know, it's very easy to fix where things might have gotten sloppy, uh, but if you actually use it early in this specific combo, it gives you an additional card. That's actually powerful. That's actually huge, and so that's definitely something that you should be uh, looking at and experimenting with and definitely registering going forward, but anyway, sorry I had to redo this video. I felt like a visual explanation of it and actually you know, showing it to you in visualized form would be a lot easier for people to understand than if I had just put a comment on the previous video outlining everything in text because sometimes it's kind of hard to understand things, especially considering that this is all very zone specific. So I'd rather look like a dumbass and put out corrected information than just shun it and just act like it never happened because at the end of the day, I'm trying to put out the best information that I can. So I, I would rather look like a dumbass for a day and put out the right information in the end of the, at the end of the day than just act like it never <laughs> happened, essentially. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think about that. I mean, honestly. But sorry for the du for the duplicate combo over the past couple of days. Uh, but anyway, things are, things are all good now, and now you know the fullest potential of Venus plus World Legacy World Chalice. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As I have already said, like, comment, subscribe, and do with all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description of my Facebook fan page, and if you want to support the channel directly, my personal Patreon page. If you want to help support the content I make, want to help me make more content, want to help me improve content, all that sort of stuff, then Patreon is obviously the best way to do so, and it helps out a ton. If it's something you'd like to do to support the channel directly, support videos you like directly, then you'd have my eternal gratitude, as I've said many times in the past. It helps out so, so much, guys, because YouTube is weird. But anyway, <laughs> that's not the main point of this video. As I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time, and as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Alright, so now that the video's over, I'd like to give a special thanks to Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, and Eric Gertson, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me on Patreon this month. You guys help out a ton, a lot more than you may ever know, and you have my eternal gratitude. You guys are forever awesome. Thank you so much for the support, you guys.